Welcome back. The Dearborn Animal Shelter has been thrusted into the spotlight this week. Of course, that's the shelter where all the chihuahuas found inside that home had been moved to. So we're talking about more than 100 of them taken to the Dearborn Animal Shelter, where already several animals have been housed waiting for families to adopt them. Here now with how you can help the chihuahuas adopting them and other animals, Sandy Bolton and Danielle Leonard from the Dearborn Animal Shelter. Welcome, ladies. Good morning. Good Thank morning. you for having us here Let's today. talk about the chihuahuas first of all. So you have gotten how many? 104 uh, chihuahuas and a few chihuahua breed mixes have uh, been brought to the Dearborn Animal Shelter for uh, safekeeping. What condition are they in? Well, they're... So we're in better condition than you really thought, considering what that house was like. Well, I, I think, Rupert, it was just really a delight to see that, you know, they have been given love immediately when they've come in. We've been feeding them and caring for them and assessing them, and they seem to be um, a, a fair amount of them in fairly decent shape. So we're, we're happy about that. All right, um, and we're going to talk about the friends that you brought in in yes. just a second, but let's talk about the process when you get all the, uh, do you farm the chihuahuas out to other animal shelters or are you able to house them all? Um, at the moment, they are all. Yesterday we're saying, you know, I really want to get my hands on the chihuahuas, but what you guys are saying is, wait a minute here, let's take care of those. We have other needs that are immediate, and these two guys and gals, I guess, are, right. are the immediate right. need right now, right? Yes, they are. Thank you so much for, for saying that, because uh, right now the chihuahuas are not adoptable, and there are uh, issues that are that we are not involved with that are legal matter before they can mm -hmm. become adoptable, um, and we will go through a process to make them adoptable, and uh, in the meantime, we have 380 adoptable animals right now at the Dearborn Animal Shelter. We have mm. dogs like our very enthusiastic little Daisy May here, who's a, a one-year-old lab. Daisy um, May. Okay, Daisy so she May. One. So if she seems rambunctious, she has a reason. Yes. She's just a baby. Also, she doesn't get along with the cat. Well, she would <laughs> love to play with our little friend Ghostly here. The cat did not yeah. seem happy a minute yeah. ago, yeah. but I think it's yeah. the dog, maybe. It, it it's is. It's not you, Danielle. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right, right, right. Actually, the cat yeah. really is fond of Danielle. He's uh, a, a two-year-old uh, white male that was a stray. His name is Ghostly, and he's actually very calm. It's this little um, jumpy one who's a... She's still a pup. Well, and she's and a she's lamb. she's a lamb. Yeah. She's supposed to be. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We all saw Marley, or yeah. at least uh, right. some of right. it. Oh, gosh. Um, so when you have an incident like this where all these animals are taken from a home it does help to highlight the need is so great but we brief window of time so people don't necessarily realize that if you adopt a cat you're actually helping the chihuahuas because you're you're freeing up making shelter room for staff them. making room for them and frankly monetary Danielle people would just came down and we, I mean we couldn't even get out the parking lot it was so many people you know, bringing out the best in people yes. sometimes a bad situation it did. all right well thank you ladies for coming in Thank, thank you. you for sharing our word, and thank Good you for having you. us here today. Thank you. Uh, for adoption information, I want to tell you, you can go to our website, myfoxdetroit.com, and to donate to the Red... Oh.